Today I'm going to show you exactly how much cash flow options can make by selling put and covered call options. I will show you every trade we did last month in July and talk through three of my favorite option trades and the option trading strategy that we used for that trade. This will help you see how you can use these same strategies to consistently generate cash flow every month in your account. Here you see every option trade we did last month in July. The red boxes are the trades we're going to talk about in this video. I will discuss the trade we did in Clorox, ticker symbol CLX. This is a position that has gone massively against us, and yet last month, if you calculate the adjustment that we did to the position, we were able to achieve an annualized 39% return. I'll tell you all about that in just a minute. I will also talk you through the Pfizer, ticker symbol PFE, put option trades we did, as well as the covered call position and trades we did in the utility company Pinnacle West that enabled us to pocket an awesome return in excess of 27% annualized. At the bottom in the blue box, you see that as a result of selling options, we pocketed $12,356. In the orange box, you see that trading commissions cost us $61.34. In the purple box, you see that we were charged $32.75 for option data services. In the green box at the bottom right, you see that we pocketed $316.05 in dividends from Cardinal Health and Realty Income as a result of the covered call positions we have in those companies. In all, we pocketed $12,578 from selling put and covered call options as well as collecting some dividends. If you annualize that return, it equates to an 18.5% annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return or return on capital. If you calculate the return on the $136,448 margin requirement, it equates to a 108.5% annualized return on margin. The first trade I want to talk through is our short put option position in Clorox, ticker symbol CLX. Here where you see the white arrow at the far right is when we first sold the 190 put option. At that time on the daily chart, Clorox had recently made a higher low and a higher high. So I felt pretty good about this trade. We also had sold that 190 put option, which was out of the money by about 3.5%. Unfortunately, this trade has not gone our way. That's why I wanted to share this position with you, because it has actually gone against us in a pretty big way. And yet we're still consistently pocketing cash flow. And the trade we did last month in July, we actually produced an equivalent of a 39% annualized non-leverage return. I have now fast forwarded to the day that we rolled the put option that expired on the third Friday of July out to August. On the far right, you see that on July 7th, Clorox was trading right around 185 per share. Since we still had a negative view of Clorox, future stock direction, we took advantage of that big up day to roll the July 16th 190 put option down by $5 in strike price and out to August 20th. For that, as you can see here, we put into our pocket a net of $1.05 per share. But remember that we also rolled the strike price down by $5. That's going to be very important when I show you what Clorox has done since this trade. Now you see the chart up to today. Although Clorox did go up in price a couple weeks after we rolled that short put down to 185, after earnings it had another big drop. Now it appears to be trying to work its way back up to fill the gap that it made after earnings. The reason why I wanted to show you this position is because it's one that has gone south on us in a pretty big way. And yet as you can see here in the purple box at the bottom right corner, we have up to this point put $682 into our pocket. And this is a stock that since we first started trading in it back in April, it has declined in value over 14%. By creatively using options, last month we were able to get ourselves five more dollars to be wrong and still get a 100% win on this position while also pocketing $1.05 per share. Oh, the things we can do as option traders. But this story is not over yet. I'm going to give you a sneak peek in this position because we did a trade this month in August that put even more cash flow into our pocket using Clorox even though it continues to decline in price. Fundamentally, I still like Clorox, so I'm going to stay in this company. If something changes fundamentally, then at that point, we're out even for a loss. But right now, I still like the company. I don't see the demand for their products going away anytime soon, and I like the financial stability that Clorox has. Let me ask you, can you make good money with boring utility companies? Let me show you the answer to that question. Here you see the covered call position we own in Pinnacle West. Like most of our positions, as you can see here, this position started out by us selling put options in it, which were then assigned to us. On June 18th, 300 shares of Pinnacle West were assigned to us at $85 per share. That same day, we sold the July $85 call options and received $0.95 cents per share. We actually had to buy those options back for a loss on July 16th when it cost us $1.02 to buy them back, but we simultaneously sold the third Friday of August, same strike price, $85 call options for $2.42 per share. That means that last month, we put into our pocket a net of $1.40 per share in option premium for this position. Now that by itself is not a terrible return because it's just over a 17% annualized non-leverage return. But that's not the end of the story. As you can see here at the middle line in this blue box, under X dividend date, 
you see that Pinnacle West went ex-dividend on July 30th. Just above there, you see that since we own this stock on July 30th, we'll receive the 83 cents per share dividend on the dividend payable date, which is as you can see at the bottom line of the blue box, that date is on September 1st. So if you add the 83 cents per share dividend to the $1.40 per share that we received an option premium, in all, since we're in this covered call position in the month of July on X dividend date, we will get $2.23 per share. If you run that return for the 35 days between when we sold the August option and when it expires, the annualized return equates to a 27.4% annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return or return on capital. That makes me smile. How about you? Covered calls is our second favorite strategy to use in option trading, and here you see why. By the way, if that was really useful, what I just share with you, then I would love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button, and thank you so much for doing that. Next, I want to share with you the details of a short naked put option trade we did last month in Pfizer that paid us a 49% non-leverage return on capital and a 472% return on margin. Here are the details of that profitable trade. Here you see the daily and weekly chart of Pfizer. The bar on the far right, the last bar, is the day that we entered this trade in Pfizer. As you can see on the left chart, the daily chart, the reason why we felt comfortable doing this trade is because Pfizer had come back down to the green 50 moving average. Notice that the 50 moving average had been serving as support for Pfizer over the past several months. Over the weekly chart, you see that Pfizer appeared to be in a pretty decent uptrend. It was making higher highs, as you can see here, the white arrows, as well as higher lows that you see where the yellow arrows are. Notice that the green 50 and red 200 moving average were just below the current stock price. As such, we felt that if Pfizer did come down, it will most likely find support at those two moving averages. So worst case scenario, the $39 put option that we sold would go in the money by about $1.50 per share. Notice down the volume section on the weekly chart that there had been very strong buying pressure in Pfizer over the previous several months. That, coupled with the fact that we really like the company and its financials, along with the technicals lining up for a bullish trade, so on July 8th, we sold the at the money third Friday of August $39 put option. Here you see the trades we did on July 8th. Notice just above this Pfizer trade that we closed out the EIX $55 put options. It wasn't worth waiting the eight more days to pocket that 15 cents per share, so we just bought the position back early to close it out. That freed up the capital we needed to enter this Pfizer position. The reason that we didn't just roll that EIX put option out to August was because the return just, it really wasn't that good. However, we looked over our list of 200 plus stocks that we are actively watching for opportunities to trade options in and saw that Pfizer would pay us a nice return and it had a good technical setup. So as you can see here, on July 8th, we sold the August 20th $39 put option. For that, we were paid $1.18 per share. Well, how did it turn out? Now I have fast forward the daily chart to the day that we exited this position. After we sold the $39 put option on July 8th, all that buying pressure from the previous several weeks caused Pfizer to just take off. As a result, 20 days after we entered this trade on July 28th, those third Friday of August, $39 put options were only worth 12 cents per share. It wasn't worth waiting another three and a half weeks to pocket that 12 cents per share, so we bought the position back to close it out. As you can see here, we then used that capital to sell some new put options in Hormel and pocketed a second paycheck for that same August 20th expiration period. But that trade is a story for another time. In all, we were in this Pfizer position for 20 days. We pocketed a net of $1.06 per share. If you annualize that return, it it equates to a 49.6% non-leverage annualized cash on cash return or return on capital. It also equates to a 472% annualized return on margin. Notice that over the past year and a half or so, even though we have not been in Pfizer for the entire time, as a matter of fact, between May and November of last year, we didn't do any trades at all in Pfizer. However, by using technical analysis to pick the best time to trade in Pfizer, we have pocketed over $3,700 by trading options in Pfizer. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do trades similar to the three that we spoke about in this video, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see more details on how to fix a losing option position, check out the video in the link above in the description below entitled, How to Fix a Losing Option Trade. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.